So when you are ready, um, as I said in my last video, um, come to the east gate. Uh, you can, you know, just come here when you feel like you're ready to go. You can talk to Fran. She'll tell you that um, Balthier is waiting until he wants you made ready, and that he feels responsible for what had happened to your friend, to you know, Banal, and um, that he is not in the habit of doing favors. He's just doing this simply because of the fact that he feels responsible. So, although this is a favor, so. But he's not overly fond of giving favors, but he is fond of Vaughn, let's put it that way. Alright, well, I'm ready, so if you're not ready, go and get ready. Because Balthier is going to ask you as well if you're ready. And if you're not ready, then you're going to have to go and get ready. But if you are, then just say, I'm really ready. So, see, flights to Nalbana, we have not been to Nalbana yet. Well, except for... Nalbana Dungeons, but we haven't been to Nalbana proper unless you've gone there already. Lots oh, of Bajervan. That's the map of Ivalice, although we can just pull it up ourselves. But where we're going to be going is on the map. It's actually in the sky, though, because it's a sky city. They call this area Dorstonis. There are different continents or different, you know continental zones and the sky cities are called the sky cities of Dorstonis and Dorstonis consists of one of the many capitals I mean one of the many cities in which the capital of the sky city sky cities is Bjerba and that's where we're going to the sky city of Bjerba in which is um, on the map we're gonna be going Sort of, well, I can't really move, but I don't know. It's in the middle of, um, well, oh, you'll see. <laughs> it's a little weird. It's in the sky, so we're going to need an airship to get there, and we're going to finally get to see Balthier's airship. So go and talk to Balthier once you are ready to go. Balthier is standing here waiting. And again, he will ask you if you're ready. Now... If you don't have items from maybe any of the hunts or fights that you've done, don't worry about that because you, there are shops when you get to Bajerba. It is a capital city and it will have item shops. A lot of shops will be closed, but the item shop will be open, I do believe. So, But if you don't feel competent enough, go and do whatever you have to do now. He will state Bajerb is on the sky continent of Dorstonis, see? Sky continent. So Dorstonis, Valendia, Ordalia, and Kurwan are basically the continents that we uh, go to. So we're going to be leaving this continent, and this continent, by the way, is Ordalia. And um, we're going to be heading over to Dorstonis. The capital there is Bujerba. Um, so he goes on to say, uh, that we'll be going to the Magicite mine we're looking for is in Bujerba. If we're going to save the girl, we start there. Are you ready? Now you can ask him to tell you more about Bujerba, so you might want to know, so go ahead. So, Bujerba is a small city-state that thrives on the export of particular fire Magicite. That's what makes it the capital. It's ruled by Marquis Andor, who actually, believe it or not, I don't know if I've said this or not, but he is the man whose memoirs appear throughout the game. And this includes earlier in the game as well. You know, the opening, when he said the treaty would be signed with... I think he said the treaty would be signed with steel and writ and royal blood that's how he ended it the middle eastern sounding met gentleman that you really didn't get to see his face and it said memoirs of marquis andor the fourth well that is the same guy who is the ruler over bajorba so bajorba is basically a neutral area that supplies the empire with a lot of magicite so he goes on to say 
It's ruled by Marcus Andor, who, by staying in the Empire's good graces, has managed to stave off Imperial invasion through its Magicite, in which we're going to find out more about why they need Magicite, because Magicite is not relevant. So, if you say you're ready, you're going to have to say you're really ready. You do realize that once we leave, you may not see Rabinasta for a while, just like last time. We're going to be gone for quite a while. So once we leave, there'll be no looking back. Are you really ready? And if you are really ready, then get the hell going. Let's get the hell out of here, because I'm really ready. So we make for the Lusu Mines that reside in Bujerba. Okay. Now I love the scenes to come because it's very beautiful. Really beautiful landscapes and stuff, you know, the sky cities look amazing. Especially seeing them from up above. Yeah, seems I took on more baggage than Rabinus. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, he did, obviously. He did take on more baggage than he planned on. Let's save your girl and be done with it. He really just wants to get on with it, but he does feel indebted to Vaughn. Because it was his fault in the first place, but... Anyway, I'm gonna shut my fucking mouth, because this is awesome. This is the straw. Yep. Beautiful. Sheep and shipping out for you. <laughs> <laughs> the straw. You really are a sky pirate. Duh. Well, the headhunters seem to think so. <laughs> What's a good word? Is she ready? Moogles. Very handy. So is she armed? How fast is she? Could she take the free? I suppose I could tell you, but... Wouldn't you rather see for yourself? Hmm? <laughs> I love those sandals. That belt beer wears. <laughs> Fran, our course. The shortest way is over Dorstonis. Over oh, Dorstonis. Oh, she's free as can be. Now. <laughs> the Empire took notice when they announced the princess's unfortunate suicide in your entire execution. <laughs> if it becomes known that I'm alive, Marquis will lose their favor. Mm -hmm. I try to steer clear of such things. Right, it's time to fly. And no wagging tongues, or you'll like to bite them off. I'm coming, Panella. Coming. This is the one beautiful place. At least I love it. I think it looks awesome. Especially seeing myself flying over it, it just looks really cool. Really beautiful. This guy's the, you know. Sky, the sky continent of uh, Dorstonis is um, quite the view, if I may say so. Oh yes, and the bu the uh, lizards again shall be torturing this poor girl who has nothing, really, no connection to Balthier at all. <laughs> you seem to are feeding, yes. I have my brother. She eats well. That's the only female Bonga in the game. Right there in the middle. Alive. That one. Balthier's bait must On the be left. Fresh. I keep trying to tell you. I barely even know who Balthier is. And there we go brother, again. With those big ass Ravenaster. handcuffs. The Strahl, she sets sail. She makes straight for the sky city of Bajerba. Barely know, was it? Yet out of trace, he goes bounding off for you. Fill me, how could that be? Huh? That's what I'd like to know. I just met him that one time and that's Does it. Does that tongue never stop? What if we plucked it from your head? <laughs> As for you, we need Balthier alive. His corpse fetches but half the bounty. A tender beaten. My I guess his father's beat. looking for him, right? There's no fun for it if we can't tease out a scream or two. They mainly have to Balthier, not her. She's just bait. So they're not really hurting her or torturing her in any way. They're just holding her. Where are you? Until Balthier comes. They really want to torture um, Balthier. But 
keep him alive enough to get the full reward of the bounty on his head, which I can only assume his father has out for him, which I'm not going to get into. So, um, that would spoil a lot. But I'm sure he's the one who has the bounty out for him. Or maybe the Arcadian... Someone has a bounty out for him, I'm only assuming it's his father. Beautiful, isn't it? It's is gorgeous. Look at that. As you can see, there's a lot of places here. That's the resident. That's the residence of um, Andor, the Marquis. He has uh, wings. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Easy. Mm, he's a wanted no man. He's not here. Keep searching. They're actually looking for someone That's else, right. though. So. They're looking for a dead man. the younger it. brother of no somebody. Names. Of course. Obviously. But Vaughn is so stupid that he actually ends up dropping names like a moron because, well, as Vaughn, he has a lot of learning to do. He's not a bright guy. Very, very not bright. He's just really, very dim witted. He has a lot of learning to do. I mean, it's so obvious that he is also himself a wanted man. They're all wanted at this point. Even if it was a minor theft. Vane Salador is clearly the main antagonist of the game. Or at least one of the main antagonists of the game. One of the primary antagonists. And um, he has quite a lot of power. And um, whether or not he's a bad guy or a good guy really comes to perception. You have to really think about that now. But, without further ado, we are in Bajerba. Now you don't even know what it looks like first. Why don't you go to the teleport stone? So this way you um, can just, you know, chart it onto your whatever. You could talk to these people if you want. Again, it's always nice to talk to the people. Hmm. Yeah, when you actually take the um, public airships, which we're going to have to do throughout the game. Well, you're not going to have to do it, but it's definitely recommended because um, there are uh, side quests and there are items and specific things that you could grab there. So Now, these gentlemen in general, the ones who kind of almost resemble the way Balthier is dressed, if anything, are actually... People from Arcadia. I bet you he's from Arcadia. Let's talk. Not such an odd sight in Arcadia. Yep, he's an Arcadian. I told you. Most people um, kind of point out where people are. That's, he's a man from Arcadia. Yep. And um, that's a Bajurban. Preserving is generally look like that. And Rabban Ashton's, they tend to look like, um, well, <laughs> we'll go to Rabban Astor and I'll show you. I don't think you're going to see anybody from Rabban Astor here, though. I don't think so. Some of these women look like they're from Rabban Astor, though. Mughals, they generally reside here in Bezerba. They're very smart. Actually, probably smarter than uh, Hume's. Mooglecraft that made this place what it is, okay. Yeah, Moogles are very, very smart, and they're also the ones responsible for um, airships and stuff. Bujerba's airship is a lot of Mooglecraft to fly so well. There's a good deal better than those heaps the Empire lurch about in. Yeah, well takes more than guild to make the best ships in the sky, powered by the best magicite to be had anywhere. So this gives you the indication that magicite is used as a source of power, energy, an energy source. And to answer the question as how the fuck do continents fly? Or, you know, in the sky? Or why they're in the sky? Well, mist natural occurring substance throughout the air similar to wind or air or oxygen in our world they have mist it's just like 
something that's in the air, and, it, and it's what forms the, I guess, the, 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 the mines are just buoyancy up ahead. to make it fly. Oh, I do hear there's not much left there these days. You're on your way to the mines. Up. And our introduction to the then one please of allow our me to accompany you. first, I have an errand to attend our to third there. guest, I guess. What but he's a real. Errand? Oh. What errand? I might ask the same of you. He's our first real guest, I guess. You right. Could say. Come on then. What? Excellent. So to speak. Do me a favor and stay where I can keep my eye on you. Should be less trouble that way. For us both. So what's your name? He'll drop oh, names in a second. I, uh, like a I'm, moron. I'm Lamont. Don't worry. I don't know what's in that mine, Lamont, but you're in good hands. Right, Bosch? Wow. What an idiot. <laughs> and the guy, that little kid, he didn't even he didn't even drop his real name. Because he's not really Lamont. You'll find out later who he is. But if you have any sense, you might have an idea. Anyway. It's most curious. I've lived here all my life, yet I often forgot the Bujerva is indeed a city in the sky. If one were to fall from here, Kastam. So again, the buoyancy um, of mist, I guess, allows the um the land certain pieces of land to float in the sky and it's due to mist that is why there are you know cities in the sky you can obviously see in the distance well if you look in the distance right here there's nothing but certain areas you'll see that there are other places like over there you could see a little arc with a house on it See that? All the way down there, you see a little mansion. Oh, it sticks out. You can find out more about this as you talk to people. Because they really do have a lot of interesting things to offer and say. If you, you know, want to become more uh, knowledgeable about the world of Ivalice. You know, Sky Pirates, Magicite, Mist, Nethosite. Um, Arcadia, Bujerva, they all have very interesting things to say. Bujerva is not great in size, but as our minds are rich in quality magicite, so are, so are our lives rich. It's a good place to live. It definitely is... Okay, did you know the best magicite may be used in many applications? It is most wonderful energy source. There is none greater. Well, actually there is. And we are going to find out about that very soon. Hmm. Okay. Why is it that you've come to that? Oh, okay. Lofty positions in the sky. It is the mist. So if you want to find out exactly why, you know, Bajerba is in the sky and how sky cities exist and the whole background of Dorstonis, you can always talk to the people because they offer a lot of information. But on top of that, you can always get the, um, I guess the Ultimania would offer a lot of information in Final Fantasy XII. So, uh, yeah. Now, we're going to be heading... So, this is Bajerba. It's a lot different than Barbanaster, obviously. In its tone, in its coloring, it's just completely different. Even in, in its design, it's different. It's completely different. Completely different place. But, like always, you know, you can find your shops. A lot of things are blocked off right now because something's going on. There's somebody missing and they're looking for him. But yet it's not Osh that they're looking for. It's somebody else. It's the young lord. Whoever that is. I know who it is, but I don't really want to spoil anything too much. 
for those who have never played the game. Hmm. You know what? Let's go and just take a look real quick. I'm really, um... It's more necessary for me to go to the item shop at this point. We're gonna have to come back to this area, though. Because they'll have, um... Finally, a bronze shield, which I think I'm gonna pick that up because I don't see that... I see really no reason to, you know, not pick this up. The bronze shield, two bronze shields would be really helpful to not only Vaughn, but we can also give it to Bosch, so. So Vaughn finally gets a shield. Cherry Staff, I'm gonna actually sell that. And I'm not gonna have a Foe Breaker for a while. And when I do have a Foe Breaker, I'm not gonna be using the Iron Hammer, because that's... That is actually just only an axe and hammers too, so I'm gonna be up much higher than that at that point, so. Useless. Cypress pole, still unsure about that, but if I do happen to get the, um, like there's a chance I may, may, I'm not 100%, but I might be able to get the, um, I think it's called the, uh, oh shit. Uh, the Battle Bamboo, right, Battle Bamboo. And that's a little bit better than the, um, than the Cypress Bowl. But, if I don't, then I'm gonna need to use a Cypress Bowl. Buckler, get rid of it, we don't need that. Not anymore, we don't. Amber Almond, like I said, very, very good. And as you could see, it's worth a lot of money. 2500 just to sell it, so you can only imagine how much it must be to buy it. So, I'm not going to sell any of that stuff, but I will sell my loot. Rainbow Egg. I'm not going to sell the Rainbow Egg, because of certain reasons, of course. I would never sell your Teleport Stones either, or special types of loot, because you may need them in the future. And as for the Rainbow um, Egg, I'm not exactly sure what it pertains to. There's a lot of different um, bizarre packages that you can create. But I do know that it has effect for something. I mean, I guess you could sell it. It doesn't hurt. Unless there's multiple packages that you're going to need the rainbow egg for. Which would mean that you'd have to make a decision. And you might lose out. So, let me actually pull up that section real quick on exactly what you should do. I mean, most likely you'll probably just need to sell it. But, not always, you know. Hmm. Ah, see, I just found it right now. Okay, so this is the good thing about having a rainbow egg is you will get 10 just from the rainbow egg alone you'll actually create a package so just sell the rainbow egg to get 10 high high potions which actually you can really help us help us out at this time boom you'll have a high potion pack which is actually worth it the price is worth it besides we don't even have access to high potions so to get 10 of them is a pretty good deal so I would go and sell that rainbow egg to get those 10 high potions. Um, yeah, so we have bronze, chest plate, leather headgear. Hmm. Ech, it's very difficult to do. And you know what? I'm going to get the scale armor though. I still believe that, you know, the tank is important role. Integral, actually. And if we don't have the right gear, you know, that's why I say, you know, always upgrade when you can. Salad. Now we have potions, too. High potions at that, so. Should be fine. Let's see what we got going on here. High potions and three regular potions. <laughs> okay, so. Mm-hmm. But. Everything looks pretty good right now. 
we're going to be going to the Lucy Mines, and that actually has a lot of, um, there's a chance of you actually being able to find an Assassin's Dagger. The Assassin's Dagger is really good. Um, you can, and you are guaranteed to find, uh, Silence and Numerology. And I like numerology, it applies in certain situations. And it's very good for the machinist. The machinist excels with numerology, absolutely. It's actually AoE damage that can add up as you continue to do it. So, use numerology once, it'll do like one damage. Do twice, and it'll continue to multiply over and over and over and over and over and over. And not necessarily having a cap, so... Later on it becomes very useful, if you have it set up in a loop. Alright, so... I want to find the um, item shop, actually. I may want to buy, buy potions, because it's... something of interest, you know. <clears throat> Can't go certain directions, so let's not even bother. And, uh, where would the, let's see, where would the, um... Hmm, they don't really tell, <laughs> okay. Actually, there, there is something to look... To find, oh, oh, right, right, we have to go to the Hunter's Skyground, actually. The Hunter's Skyground will contain a merchant. But can we even get there at the moment is the question. I don't think we could. I think there's a possibility of getting there. Actually, you know what? Screw that. Let's just go to, um... We really should make our way to the mines, so... To get to the mines, we go this way. There's a merchant right here. Caught up a bird. Map's expensive. Lusu map. We're gonna need Lusu mines, so... Okay, so... I sent my list of miners. Alright, so... Mm. Just for the sake of getting that map. Because it's a very big place, believe it or not. I have a little bit of an excess on certain items that I really don't need. Um, let's keep things at a 30 for everything. Okay, good. And, uh, buy a map for the Lusu Mines. And again, we can upgrade our items when we get out of here, so... So we have the map of Bujerba, now we have to get a map of, um, the Lucy Mines. Which will basically put us broke. So, in my opinion, you should get some, um, potions. That's my personal opinion. Probably should buy potions. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Now, how to go about doing that, well... See how much it is for a potion. They're not much. They are not much. I'm making get rid of the bronze helm. No one's gonna be using that. And uh let's see. We only have one of those. Bangle, um hmm. I mean, it's really not necessary, but... Ooh. I think it's time to get rid of one of the Archie armlets. And then buy a few of these. And not even them have gold needles yet. <laughs> we have ten potions, so... 
Is that good enough? Might not be. So I'm gonna bring everything down to 25, like I said before. 25 of everything. Alright, good. Get rid of these uh, certain things like a Chrono Steer. We don't even need that right now. Nor do we need even Princess Kiss. We just don't need that. Not at the moment, we don't. Uh, 15 Phoenix down is good. I mean, uh, we all know how important it is for potions. To have potions. Potions are very important. Very, very, very important. Alright, it's good just to start off. We have 26 potions. It's fine. And, um, like I said, when you go into the mines, you will, um, be able to create a very easy chain because there's going to be a lot of skeleton and skull defenders, as well as stealings and slavins, or slavins, I think they're called. But um, important to note that you can that you can pick up silence here and numerology, especially numerology. Another thing is that you want to be able to pick up um, well, you'll have the chance of being able to pick up an assassin's dagger and or battle bamboo or both if you're lucky enough. But I can tell you this for sure: if you do loot the treasures here, you can you have. The ability to find a lot of moats, aqua moats, arrow moats, and dark moats, and um, even dispel moats and cure moats, along with gravity moats. I mean, it's a lot of moats that you can find here, and moats are very good. They're like spells for people that can't use spells. Well, they're like spells for people who can't use magic. Magic. The Lusu Mines. One These of are the richest veins in Ivalice. Yep. Under Imperial Guard, no doubt. Actually, no. With but few exceptions, the Imperial Army is not permitted within Gujerba. Well, shall we proceed? Okay. So he facetiously said, he facetiously explains that, um, so, uh, you know, he started to, you know, explain, further explain about, <laughs> you know, the response of the Imperial Guard being here. So that indicates that this young Lamont must be more than meets the eye here. He obviously is. And we're going to have to question as to who the fuck this guy is, obviously. The person who's going to be doing that would either be Bosch or Balthier. But I think it's going to be Balthier because he's the one who's not uh, afraid to ask questions. And he is pretty savvy. After all, he is the leading man. <laughs> all right. Now to get more familiar with these fucking judges, which are, they're real bad motherfuckers, evil scumbags. This is one of the judges, of course, magisters, judge you magisters. You are forgiving for asking, but you are diverting the purest of the magicite. I can assure you it reaches Lord Vane most discreetly. Ha! <laughs> you wear your saddle well. That's that Marcus Andor, by the way. I have no intention of being bridled, your honor. Then you prefer the whip? Mm. Stubbornness will see not only you broken, Excellency, but Bujerba as well. Okay. There's Lamont. Halim Ondor the Fourth, the Marquis of Bujerba. The Marquis okay. served as mediator at the negotiations of Damascus' surrender. The man. It would appear that he is somewhat less neutral now. Oh, he's not neutral at all. He's been helping the resistance. 
That's true. They say many things. You're certainly well informed. Who did you say you were again? What difference does it make? <laughs> we have to find Penelope. I told you. And Penelope is your girlfriend. She's a friend. Hey, she girlfriend. She's kidnapped and taken here. They say sister, but it's girlfriend. I mean, come on. They're not related. Yeah, I could just totally tell. Penelope is like Ron's girlfriend. I mean, just like Fran is Balthier's girlfriend. I mean, it's not really said, but it's indicated. Unless you're a fucking idiot. I mean, it's... I mean, he even said, you know, that Fran is a Vera who decided to partner with the Hume. And partner with the Hume? He basically indicated that they are together, and they basically are. They kind of are. They have a uh, intimate relationship, Grand and Balthier. Just like the whole bullshit of um, Fran and I mean uh, Vaughn and Pinello being brother and sister. That's completely not true. The indication here is that they were friends growing up. And they did have a brother and sister like relationship, but now it's sort of as they're getting older, it's turning into more of a intimate relationship where, um, you know, I mean, it's just the way it works. Male and female, unless he's a homosexual, then, you know, it's just natural for them to eventually start to. I mean, how do you think Vaughn would like it if, um, Pinello is like. You know, dating some other guy, he would start to get a little, um, I would think, frustrated because he, you know, is with the dog. <laughs> so there's yeah. definitely no, um, brotherly sister thing going on. Like I said, maybe it started out as like brother and sister, but they are not brother and sister, so therefore. It's gonna eventually turn into a uh, relationship, and that love is not gonna be like brother love. It's gonna be like intimate love, you know, like sexual. <laughs> anyway, uh, to get back on course here, so we have to rescue um, his girlfriend, Penelo. And the great thing about this place is that you can you can make a lot of chains using the skull defenders and the skeletons. Because it will pop up everywhere. Use about beer, or you could use a uh, Fran, or whoever you want to really use is up to you. Um, let's see, he's a machinist, so therefore... Uh, we already have him at the Mage Master, so I think it would be good to have uh, Fran. As you could be from a further distance with an archer as well. And she also has cure and we don't have many potions. So let's use Fran for now. Alright. Good shape. She'll spit out a fire spell every now and again. But she can actually sling her spells faster than she can actually shoot her bow. Slinging out bow... Slinging out arrows takes more time than her spells or as they say magics and always try to check for the uh, you know, scan the equipment because there's a lot of um, I mean the scan the um, scan the hallways for uh, treasure coffers because a lot of the treasure coffers here have potential items in them whether they be moats or equipment or um, a technique called numerology, which you're gonna have to get here, and it is here. So, and since I'm not using uh, him, I'm going to go and get a. Uh, for this place, I think I'm gonna give him a steel gambit. Why not, right? That's a good idea, actually. Okay, Vaughn. Licenses. You got 65. But I don't really think that... I'd rather go with swiftness right now. 
I was trying to get that before, actually. Okay, good. It's a good thing that we have swiftness. I wanted to get that, so... Remedy Lore 2... Actually, that would have been great to have before. Wouldn't it have? It really would have been great to have. Gamma slot opening. In fact, if you could do, you could do both. I think. Let's do both. I'll hold on to the twenty and then grab the five and then do both. Um, MP is missed points, which will also recover anybody's quickenings, their missed charges, so that's actually not bad. Martyr. So I'd grab Martyr. As for Bosch, well, I'd have to say, I would pretty much advise him in getting, um... I think, uh, da -da -da. I'm trying to think here. The Firefly is good. I got an idea. Firefly and grabbing. Nope, not Hesman. No, Mara. The Gambit Slot. Gambit Slot 30. Okay, let's go. Let's make a move on. We have someone to save keeping the map open so that we can kind of have an idea on what we're getting here. Because this place is very big, but as you can see, it's shaded colors, you know, very big, very, very, very big. But we're not going to be traveling through this entire place. We're going to just be traveling to a small section, very linear. But as we travel, we have to make sure we, um, pick up some, you know, very important items through treasure coffers. So, first to grab would be silence, and second would be numerology. These are guaranteed to be found. So let's go and get them. Uh, so silence would be over here. I don't think we got it. If we had, it's probably because I picked it up earlier. So I was lucky as... I was very lucky, so I didn't. But if you don't have silence, it should be, like, right around here. It might not be here for me, because I already had picked it up. See? There's no treasure here for me. But for anybody else, silence will be here unless you had picked it up already randomly from a chest. Because I was able to pick up silence and poison. Random. Luck, I guess. Just luck of the draw. But that's the spot where you'll find silence. Unless... No, actually, no. There is the second chest, though, over there, which might have a bronze mace in it. But if not, it's a little moat. Own fragments, and they go for a good amount of money. So, oh, I just got the gill. So that's kind of like the worst case scenario, but because you could either get the gill or you can go the, with the 50, 50 item normal loot. But I got gill, so and that's only a 30% chance of that happening. But all well, 35% chance in this case scenario. And it can go up to 220 yell. I got 69, so. Always remember that there's a 30% chance, usually. Well, I mean, I can give you the odds. Generally, it's a 50 50 for normal loot, but there's always a chance that you could end up getting a gill from those, from, you know, treasure coffers. And these are what you want to make chains with, so that you can get better items. Because <clears throat> you'll get good items, and, um, 
Not only will you get good items, but you'll also receive the chain, which will give you... Chains are just great to have because you can make, like I had displayed before, in uh, the at the end of Barheem, before we fought the Mimic Queen. Um, I was sort of displaying that um, we can... Uh, that you, how much, you know, how... How, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? I forgot. Anyway. Oh, yeah, right. Um, how resourceful and valuable the chains are. Especially with, um... Like, with the skeletons. You know, undead skull defenders and skeletons. These undead things will offer amazing chains, and the drops that you'll get will be amazing. You know, follow suit and do what I do, and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so what am I looking for right now? Oh, right, let's get rid of that. I need to do a, um, a full 100% steal. That's what I'm going to do. I think it seems appropriate. He's a gambit slot, but I don't really need anything at the moment except for maybe. Oh right, echo, echo, echo herbs. Only on Fran, though, of course. I like Fran, because she's the only one who uses it. Soon she'll have better stuff, so... Okay. Alright. I couldn't steal, but... Again, the end of the world. Take this map off because I want to see the treasures that we're going to be finding. See? Aquara moat. So a lot of these chests will have moats in them and, and honestly don't underestimate the usefulness of moats because they're really useful. Kronos tier, not as useful really. And another uh, piece of advice before coming, you know, you know, before delving deeper into this place. You see this here? That's a trap. And they're laid out on the ground. And from here on forward, you're going to start seeing those. And these are like, um, I guess, like, almost like, I guess, um, trip mines, I guess. They're almost like trip wires when you step on them, or like mines. If you step on them, random, you know, either, most likely bad things will happen, like, it might trigger, um, a trap that will do massive damage to your party, you might trigger a trap that will sap up all of your MP, you might trigger a trap that heals, like, a reju uh, rejuvenation traps, but they're not really traps, but, nonetheless, that's what they're called, traps, and, um, Mostly, usually, for the most part, bad shit will happen. If you're lucky, every once in a blue moon, you'll get a bonus, like a reju rejuvenation trap. Which may recover your HP or MP or something like that. But in general, you might trigger, like, a, a trap that might blind everybody, and so on and so forth. Traps are bad. So, just know that. Know that traps are no good, and the only way to really spot them... And avoid them is by using float or having Libra active via a bangle or Libra gambit. And um, we definitely need to pick up numerology here, so let's make sure we do that too, because it's important. And let's take a look. Oh, he's coming near us. Yeah, we should be able to find. 12 soon, so I wouldn't worry too much. This is what you want to make change from the skull defenders. They'll 
over the place of these things. He got Lamont. He uses an endless supply of potions, which is good. You don't really have to tailor up targeting so. Huh. What can he do? Oh, good, great. That's wonderful. Cura. Allies HP 40%, I guess. Cura. And Cure, I really don't. I don't know. I don't see the whole. I don't think that's a good one. Aqua can work. If we had. Hmm. Nah. Balance. If. Yeah, you know what? We're really not going to be able to do much yet because we haven't picked up the, uh. We just haven't picked up the gambits for it, so. Like, water weak and etc. So for now, I guess we'll just go with attack. Um, I'm gonna do ally any. A lot of this stuff is grayed out. Let's do ally any, ally any. But not potions, I don't want him to use potions. Ally any. I'm gonna have him do, uh. Eye drops. Or poison. Not attack, but. Let him do, like, um. Yeah, antidote, that's good. He's got everything else ready. So, faux targeting self. No, no, no. Um, I think it's best if I did. Oop, shades of black. That's good. I don't really. Um, let's do that. There we go. That's good. Alright. Now this is where you'll be able to get your chain. Once you get rid of the bats, you have to get rid of the stealings first. Because anytime you fight something, you may break that chain. But I would have Lamont use Shades of Black, because Shades of Black is really good. Bosch doesn't need MP at the moment, so I don't have him with that, so... And let's see... I think we may be able to get items down here, too. Let's have copy at... Oopsie! Explosion traps. Bad news. And again, the only way... Oh, he triggered an explosion trap. Taking a look to see what we have, what our options are. Our options are few though, trust me. But there's another chest right here, I kind of have a feeling there would be. A sack of onion bombs. Only good if you have hand bombs though. Now why there'd be a trap here, I don't know. Let's see if it's a rejuvenation trap. Ah, it is, see? Eh? Rejuvenation. I love those. So I was wondering, why would there be a trap there? It seems to be out of place. Whenever there's a trap that seems out of place, it's probably, it could be, possibly, a rejuvenation trap. So like I said, that was a perfect example of good traps and bad traps. Shades of Black is great, because it gives random, um, black magic attacks. Ranging from Dondara 
to even Thondaga. I mean, it, it could do anything. Even spells that you haven't acquired. Or magics. I always call them spells, but... Yeah, even the magics you haven't required, you'll still be able to use them using Shades of Black. It's just random. Now, this should be Numerology. And it's not. So, then, Numerology must be... I must have passed it, then. Because I know it's right around here. It's very close. But again, it's also dark, and... And that's probably it right there, so... What's going? Yep, Numerology. Good for the future reference. Okay, sleep. And we're making progress. Watch out for these traps, though. We don't want to trigger them. But we probably will. And we just did, so that's not good. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Silence go, so that silences all of them. Well, that was good. Oh, again with the damn... Oh, you idiot. What is wrong with you? And we don't even have charge yet. I'm just kind of giving you the tour. Where we need to go. We have to actually go up this way and further in. Which I'll probably cover in my next video. This video I'm just kind of giving you a tour of what you can find. Especially in numerology, you will really want to pick that up. In my next video I'm gonna finish up the Bajerba lines though. The Lucy mines I should say. Alright, good. We're we're clear here, we're good. Everything else is random. As long as you get silence and um as long as you pick up those two you're in good shape. Cause you may want to visit some other shops. Like you might want to just visit this place quickly just to get a little loot and then come back. Like you have to be really careful with this. Pick it up without letting it go off. Is it poss it's possible, but it's got to be careful. See, again, yeah, you might be out of loot from upgrading your equipment and stuff, but again, come here to make chains with Skull Defenders, and then leave, and go out and uh, purchase, you know, new stuff. Like items, new uh, techniques, because this place has a whole bunch of new stuff that you can get. Then come back to the Lucian Mines and resume, what, what, you know, resume... The actual quest of uh, or objective of rescuing Pinello, because that's exactly what I'm going to do. So join me in my next video. Um, again, this is a perfect place to start your chain, and that's what I'm going to do right now. See, I'm already building my chain. See, skull defender, skeleton. So build your chain up, gain loot, and go back out and go shopping and shop for some new stuff, you know, upgrade all of your character's equipment, uh, get new techniques, and um, everything, basically, visit all the shops that you can, and then come back here, and then do the objective, which is to rescue Pinello, alright guys, join my next video, and as always, keep on gaming, alright guys, over and out.